Hi guys and girls, I'm Obsidian Ant, and this is Sid Meier's Starships. Now, this is a new game, it was released only yesterday. I don't know a whole lot about it, other than to say it is a turn-based strategy game, and it shares the same universe as Civilization Beyond Earth. I haven't done anything in this game at all yet, save for a look at the settings options here, where it is very much lacking, there's not even a full screen mode, all we've got is a full screen windowed mode and I find it very hard to believe that anyone in their right mind would actually release a PC game that cannot go full screen, but apparently that is what they have done. And you probably can't see it in the video I'm recording here, but right at the bottom I'm staring my Windows taskbar right in the face, there's absolutely no way of hiding it. But that aside, it looks pretty enough, but let's get into it. So this is completely fresh play for me, I haven't gone beyond the main menu at all. Uh, and we're going to have to work out as we go. So purity reserves... Purity reveres the history of our people and their human characteristics. They receive doubled resource rewards for completing the missions. Harmony celebrates the kinship of all living things. Their starships are repaired at half the cost. Supremacy believes in the advancements of technology and science. Their civilizations start the game with one random wanderer already built. Well, they all seem to have their advantages. So let's go with Harmony. I only want a medium map. To start off with, we'll try and make it a relatively brief game. We've got four opponents, victory conditions are all. The difficulty is just defaulting to easy, so let's go with that for now. So we've got to travel to neighbouring star systems and complete missions and gain influence. Complete missions to gain influence. Two blue ring sections and receive resources from that system. Earn four influence ring sections and make the system part of your federation. Expand your federation control 51% of the galaxy to win the game. Be sure to use the advice and spaceopedia buttons at the bottom of the screen for more information. Let's get going then. And here we are. The Thuringian Fallacy. Number one, free touch. Anytime you'd like some advice, press the advice button. We'll scan our database for the most appropriate suggestion. Her Hercules. 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 67, our homeworld. We've got some options here. Biofuel plant. Auto plant. Crypto lab. Aquifier. Planetary defense. Warp nexus. Build interstellar shields wonder. Build improvements, build cities. So I've no idea what any of this is. We're going to find out as we go. Let's have a look here. The Thurnigan Fallacy, number one free touch. Completing the mission Thurnigan Fallacy at this planet will earn you a reward of one free tech and two influence points. Defenders, the three billion citizens of... I argue, argue you're going to hear me half make some balls ups in the pronunciations of some of these words here, so that'll be some free laughs for you, I guess. Include fierce warriors who will assist in the defence of their planet. Its icy biome produces 50% additional science. Move the fleet. Approaching Oregon 45. Re receiving. It's actually told me what the pronunciation is there but I didn't listen. The Marauder Commander has challenged our two best ships to a duel against his two best ships. Shall we accept the challenge? Looks like we have to, doesn't it? Tell me more about our... our, our oh, Planet 45. Let's go with that. Provide me with some advice. Tell me more about the enemy vessels. Build Starship Repairs. The Marauder Commander has challenged our two best ships in a duel against his two best ships. Shall we accept? Provide me some advice. Tell me about the enemy vessels. Oh, better than 48%, I guess. 
Right. We have more urgent matters to attend to. Yes, let's yes, accept sir. the challenge. Eliminate the Marauder starships. Note numerous jump gates. So I can control the camera a little bit. It's certainly messing me about a bit. Right, so I've got I've got three ships here, but looks we have no, it's the yellow one, not mine. So I'm gonna move that one. And I can move it to the outside edge of the border here. I guess these guys are going to come around the planet and toward my ships here. So I'm going to place this vessel right there. Left click and drag to move the map. Use the mouse wheel to zoom. Yeah, we, we've got that. Can I control these? Yes, I can control these. Well, let's move that one to there. What about this one? The crescent shape under the starship will indicate starship damage as shown. Starship shields are stronger in the forward direction, weaker to the rear. The number shown under the starship is the number of moves remaining. Five moves. Now, not sure yet if this is the right thing to do, but I'm going to keep all these guys together. Fire torpedo. It has a little bit of a XCOM and shadow run vibe to it so i'm just having a check to see if there's an overwatch command of some type but it doesn't seem to be that uh, we can turn left we can turn right we can fire torpedoes engines shields armor lasers okay then what's this battle card nanobots repairs all the critical hits mouse over an enemy starship to select your target Okay, well, let's end that turn then, for now. Right click on an enemy starship, then that one's turn, and we'll end that one's turn, and the enemy can have another go. And they've snuck round to the sides of me, or the rear of me, where my shields are weaker. And they're also hitting the side of me. That one's gone head on, and you can see the damage was much less significant there. Now this has got six moves. How many moves do I need to fire the weapon? It doesn't actually say. Let's move them. Oh, should we go right to the rear? That gives me six. It gives me two moves left. Let's try and fire the weapon right in its back. And I completely annihilated that ship. And let's get down here. But we've got no more moves to fire, so perhaps not the wisest course of action. This ship here is side on to the enemy ship here, but it can only deal 72 damage. Uh, let's see. Side quadrant, enemy shields, 69. Hmm. 68 damage. You know, it's possible. Let's, let's fire a torpedo there and see what happens. Nothing happens. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me, let's try and repair. I thought I saw a repair option down here a moment ago, but I guess I don't have enough turns to do that. Or some such. Fire weapon, fire torpedo. Let's fire weapon. Head on. And we annihilated that ship as well. So do we only get one fire per turn? There's nothing really telling me one way or the other now, is there? Well, let's end his turn anyway and see what happens. They're coming round, trying to get behind me again, and they did get behind me. And I've lost a ship. Run, detonate. Detonate what? The torpedo? Can't aim it. Although I can move the whole plan area across the background star field. Very strange. Run. What's going on? And that was, I guess, gathering my torpedoes. I don't know. 
So I've lost a ship anyway. Let's bring this one here. And whatever these are, they certainly seem to have a lot of firepower to them. Probability of completing this mission is 58%, but we've somehow achieved it. Trade route established with Aragay 45. Aragay, Aragay 45. So that's how we say it. The enemy threat has been neutralized. Please accept this gift of one free tech as a token to our, our gratitude. Yours is the first Starfleet to come to our aid. Plus one influence. 50% of our people now support your federation. We shall establish a trade route and share half of our resources with your federation. We're happy to offer assistance. View leaderboards for missions. We're not worried about that just yet. So what's our free technology? We can have an iron drive. 25% speed to generated by engine modules. Field theory, 25% to damage absorbed by shields. Xeno materials, 20% to armor hit points. That sounds quite good. Either of these two actually sound quite good. Nano electronics, 25% to damage caused by long range lasers. Iron energy, 25% damage. Thermal compression, 25% to damage caused by torpedo detonation. So I should have detonated that torpedo earlier, but it was out in the middle of nowhere anyway. Quantum cognition, 50% to effectiveness of sensors. Quantum suppression, 25% to effectiveness of stealth systems and artificial intelligence. Fighters gain one random module. So we're going to go with field theory, I think, and get slightly stronger shields. Completed field theory level one. So now we've got a choice to move on. We can go to home world battle, damage control. The cooperative battle fleet is in range and can take advantage of the planetary defense facility to defend this planet with three additional megabots. The five billion citizens of Core V38 controller damage control wonder, which allows them to prevent critical hits. Completing this, their mission fragile for this planet will earn you a reward of 300 science and three influence points. Politicos, the one billion citizens of the Aquari 23 are governed by shrewd politicians who will quickly shift the allegiance of their planet. Its volcanic biome produces 50% additional energy can't get there but I can get here completing the mission tight corner at this planet will earn you 300 credits and two influence points wonder the 1 billion citizens of Cephi 29 are aided by skilled wonder bots who can produce galactic wonders efficiently its earth like bone produces 50% additional food 300 science or 300 credits well how many credits have I currently got I've already got a thousand science. Science used to research new technologies. Metals used to build planetary improvements and wonders. Energy used to build, upgrade and repair starships. Food used to cities. So we haven't got any credits at the moment. So what's this? That's science. Let's go here and get some credits. Approaching Cephe 29. Two of our starships have been cornered by a Marauder Squadron in an unfamiliar parts of the galaxy. We'll need about five turns before we can warp our way out of here. Shall we tough it out? Two of our starships have, yep, yeah, we know that. Provide me with some advice. Tell me more about the enemy vessels. So a little bit higher than before. Build, repair, starships. Let's have a look. Repair Starship. Fast Corvette. Can we slip between them? To upgrade your ship, use the tech buttons below. Well, I just want to repair my ships at the moment. So have I got my ship back? That was lost earlier. Was it only temporarily lost? Accept changes. Yep. Tell me more about Sephi 29. Porous asteroid fields will have a lesser effect on energy weapons. Okay, let's get going then. Yes, our ships are up to the task. We have more urgent matters to attend to. We'll need about five turns before we can warp our way out of here. Yes. Mission survive until escape plan is complete. Five turns. 
No, energy weapons penetrate asteroids. So we can shoot through asteroids, I assume. And that means... And here we go. One, two, two enemies again. I thought I saw five enemy ships, but maybe that was just thinking of five turns. What have we got here? I wonder what the green circles are. Places to hide. Well, let's... They can probably move six squares. One, two, three, four, five, six. So let's hold back and make them come to us. Because that should hopefully give me an additional turn. And let's keep us nearby each other. Try and protect our flank a little bit. Oh, they still shot, but they couldn't do much damage. Possibly due to the distance. So, you... I'm going to move here and we're going to see what damage we can do to that ship like that. And we can dis totally destroy it and move you back for now. Oh no, you're facing the wrong way. Let's move you that way again and then turn and this guy well, we'll move you, just one forward, and then turn, and we'll see what they do. They're going to try and flank us again, aren't they? That's quite a significant amount of damage done there. This one is going to come right the way around there and fire them in the rear. And that mission was very easy, wasn't it? Needed to hold out for five turns, they said, but... We're done. Our probability of completing this mission is 95%. That's gone up from the 65% earlier, isn't it? Base score of 1,500. Sustains a 40% damage, I know. Let's go then. Trade route established with Cephe 20. The enemy Nine. threat has been neutralized. Please accept this gift of 300 credits as a token of our gratitude. Yours is the first Starfleet to come to our aid. 1% influence. 50% of our people now support your Federation. We should establish a trade route and share half of our resources with your Federation. Okay. So our empire, or our influence at least, is slowly expanding. We can see our homeworld back here. And I guess we can start thinking about improving that and expanding it out because these enemies these opponents certainly are going to be doing the same so we've come across two of our um, enemies now there's actually four somewhere on the map just having a quick look at this one up here Hydra 23 way out of our range for the moment but let's have a look what we can do on our planet we can build cities we can build improvements and we can build int int intelligence build intelligence wonder biofuel plant so our crew is becoming fatigued from our space travel and combat only four of our ten crew members are operating at full efficiency we should consider ending our void shore leave to allow them to rest and recover. During this time, we will also collect resources from our star systems. Our starships will be fully repaired at the beginning of our next voyage. So what do we do there? How do we do that? We want to repair the ship. We're going to do that. And how do we give them shore leave? Diplomacy, Spaceopedia. Market, buy and sell resources, research new technology, upgrade and build and repair advice. So maybe we just send them back, do we? Well, nope, that doesn't seem to be the way to do that. Let's move the fleet to CFA 29. By influence, build cities. So the ship itself also has the Abilities to do this, does it? Select the improvements to upgrade. Biofuel plant. Increase energy production up to 75%. Auto plant increase. Unless I just selected the other planet there, perhaps. 
increase metal production warp nexus travel instantly to this system removing crew fatigue that sounds quite good yeah so all these systems I've actually visited now I can actually do things with them and there's option up here options menu okay we don't need that although perhaps I should use a save game option that's never going to do any harm is it I hope move fleet build cities so what, what do you think we should go with <coughs> excuse me buy influence and build cities build improvements it's hard to know at this point what we actually need so let's see what we need here use your science I need 900 science for that or 1000 science so what do we have that gives us more science what do we have that gives us more food the cities give us the pop the 1 billion citizens of Cephei 29 are aided by skilled wonderbots okay that's what we read earlier build a city spend 1000 1000 what 1000 credits to build a city what does a city gain us that's what I'd like to know 100 research 150 food well why not let's let's build a city there can we actually see any more details of this planet there's a menu that seems to appear that keeps disappearing every time I select the area there my crew eight of your crew members are operating at reduced efficiency consider giving them shore leave yes but tell me how shore leave oh look we're staring me right in the face end this turn rest your crew and collect resources that's fine not quite ready to end the turn yet might as well start building a wonder, shall we? Spend 4,000 on intelligence shields. But I haven't got that much. Shield protection from all directions. Pretty good. What else can we do? Well, we haven't got enough money for any of that anyway. And have a look at that city there. Spend 2,500 to build a city. I assume that must be the second city. And obviously we can build another city over here. What do we need? Spent 1500 to build a city. Spent most of my money, unfortunately. So it looks like we're going to have to give them a short sleeve and end the turn. And they sound very happy at that. Well, apparently we are not alone in this galaxy. Good day. I am... Oh, I'm not going to pronounce that. The Secretary General of the Communal Galactic Cooperative. Yes, he's here. As you can see, we have assembled a powerful fleet of starships to advance our noble purpose, as well as reliable followers on many star systems. Our fleet commanders are preparing to eliminate the Marauder Menace. Our battle fleet is currently ranked number one in the galaxy. Your fleet was recently ranked number two. Tell me more about your empire. As you can yes, see, we have assembled a powerful fleet of starships to advance our noble purpose. As well as a reliable followers on many star systems, according to our projections, we will soon dominate this entire galaxy. We currently have a population of 5 billion loyal citizens. 5% of the entire galaxy. Okie dokie. Tell me more about your yes, territories. As you can see, we have assembled. Yes, we know that. According to our projections, we will soon. Yeah, well, we know that too. Five billion followers. What have you been up to? We are preparing our fleet for another mission. I'm sure this galaxy is large enough for the both of us. Certainly, plenty of room. There is no substitute for a mighty fleet. Warp softly, but carry our big stick. Your antiquated starships will do well to avoid how many areas of influence. I now have other matters to attend to. How may the corporation serve you? This okay, looks so fair. we've found someone else. The Eternal Kingdom. As you can see, we have assembled a powerful fleet. 
Our computer calculations indicate that we have a 20% chance to dominate this galaxy. By all means, as yes. well as reliable followers, we have more than 1,000 food each turn. Your food production of food is about your production of food is about 1,300. We currently control one star system. We are preparing our fleet for another mission. Certainly, now plenty of room, back. riches, wealth, and my deity. How the Almighty credit. Perhaps we should conclude a peace treaty, agreeing to respect each other's borders. No, such an agreement would be premature. Yes, let's let peace be our destiny. We're probably going to upset someone else, but let's go with that. Oh, who's this? Due to recent assistance from communal cooperative, we can no longer continue trading with your federation. Oh, thank you. So, that's one of my areas up there, isn't it? That they're messing around with. Receiving all resources from Cephe 20. Nine. I see your crew has enjoyed the shore leave on our planet. Your presence is most appreciated. 75% of our people now support your federation. We are pleased to share all our resources with your federation. That's nice. I think I should probably go that way now and try and free up that planet from resource from their influence. As you can see here, I've got three rings, three parts of the ring around this planet here, which probably represents the 75% uh, rep influence they were talking about that I did have 50% but now it looks like it might just be 25% and 25% with these other guys here you can see what I assume is the influence over the entire galaxy perhaps I'd like to actually be able to get more information on that planet there but clicking on it is going to move my ships anyway that's a brief look at Sid Meier's starships I'm going to leave the episode here for now and we'll pick right up where we currently are in episode two where I'm going to head over this way and see if I can free that planet from these little goons over here. As always, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys and girls next time. This has been Obsidian Ant, signing off.